Here's another shortcut video tutorial for Defiant Creative. We're going to start with a new project and we are going to make our video fade in and fade out into white. Any background color we choose. So we'll start by bringing a file into our playlist. So here is a video clip. Now this video clip I want to add to my timeline. I want to go ahead and I want to add two video tracks. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bring the video down to the top track. And I can make my video fade in and fade out using a filter. I click on the filters tab and first I'll go to fade in video. I can set the duration of the fade here by typing in or using these plus and minus increments and so if I play this video it's gonna have a nice two second fade in so let's go back let's make sure when I type in that too I want to make sure I hit enter before I or click out of the window before I hit play so I can add another one which is fade out video and I can set the duration here also to two seconds. So at the very end of my clip, it's going to fade out. Excellent. We go back to these filters and you'll notice this box adjust opacity instead of fade with black. So if I set adjust opacity, now I can fade in and fade out to any color I choose, or I could even fade into a video clip or an image that's in my background. We'll go to open other up here at the top, and we'll choose color. So I can pick from a preset color, and I've created a preset called white. What you'll want to do is go into color and choose the color that you want or type in the little hexadecimal code for your color or you can even dial in an RGB. So hit OK and if I wanted to save this as a preset I would hit save and I could give it a name. So I have this preset color white and here I can take this and drag it down to this other video track and then I can stretch it out to the full length. The final step is to export your video. So you can click on export at the top and we can go to this YouTube preset. Looking at advanced it's setting it to 30 frames per second and choosing the file type mp4 for the format. So once you hit export file, it'll add it to your queue of jobs. And that's all it takes. Thanks for watching.